2K has always had a bit of an issue when it comes to assigning players retired numbers. And you always have to do some sort of work around. So I'm going to show you how to do that in 2K24. So if I have Charles Barkley here, number 34, I want to put him on the Phoenix Suns. And I just copy him to that team. And then I go over to the Phoenix Suns. And you'll see he was assigned number 16. It's just going to automatically change it. I can go into him. I can try and give him number 34. It's not going to matter. It's just going to skip right past 34. So if I get rid of him, you can see if I try with any of these other players, same thing. If I try and change Booker to 34. It's not going to let me do it. It's just going to skip right past it. So the way to get around that is you need to use one of the generic players from the classic teams. If you use one of these real players, it won't work. Um, it only works with these generic players from the classic teams. The guys at the bottom of the roster, William Smith, William Jones, David Williams. You can see these teams all have these generic guys at the bottom of the roster. So if I take him and I assign him to the Phoenix Suns, And now I go back to the Suns, go down to William Smith. You can see right now it won't let me change him to 34. But if I change his name to Charles Barkley, it's going to let me do it. Again, it, it won't work with the, the real players, even if you rename them they'll still, it still won't work. For some reason it only works with these generic guys. So if I change him, Barkley. Charles Barkley, boom, there you go. It allows me to add number 34. Now, I go into import player DNA and you know, obviously make sure you have whoever you're trying to use saved into your local DNA. It doesn't need to be on 2K share. So here's my Charles Barkley Suns version. Import him in and there you go. Charles Barkley number 34. Now you can also do it with the, the all-time classic teams but those are the all-time teams are much easier. You don't need to to do that whole sort of trick with the all-time team. So if I want to put Reggie Miller on the all-time Pacers um, I can just copy him to that team you can see he's number 31 there so if I copy him and then I go to the all-time Pacers He's number 31. So you don't really need to do the trick for the all-time teams. You can just put them, um, you just copy them straight on there. Now, even you can even um, alter those numbers. So if I wanted to uh, um, make Paul George number 31 on the all-time Pacers, it's going to let me just do it. So... Don't have, you don't have the restrictions on the all-time teams like you do with the, the modern teams. So now what if you wanted to just assign um, some other player a retired number? So if I go on to the Sixers, and let's say I want to give Embiid number two, which was Moses Malone's number, which was retired with the Sixers. It's not going to let me do it. I can try and change his name to Moses Malone. It's not going to matter. It still won't let me do it. So what you want to do is you want to export his DNA. And you can export it locally. It doesn't have to be 2K share. And so we're going to export him. Now... 
let's save. Oh, let's get out of that. We're gonna save this roster there. And we're gonna go over to player DNA. And we're gonna go into Embiid. And we're gonna change him to jersey number two. save that. Now we're going to go back into the roster. And we're going to go get one of those players off of the old classic teams. And we're going to sign that guy to the Sixers. Moses Malone. your DNA screen and change the number there because if you just tried to import them again right away it's not like Barkley and Miller where I already had that number set for those guys when I export Embiid he's exported with number 21 so if I import him back it's just gonna he's gonna have number 21 so you can see there's the Embiid 21 and then there's the Embiid 2 now, of course, the difference is you're going to lose all of his career stats because basically you've created a new player there. So if that's something that's important, you know, you're not going to be able to keep those if you do it that way. And then you could just delete this one from the roster, and now you've got your Embiid number two. So anyway, that's how you work get around the retired player's number issue. It's not really an issue so much with the ERAs teams. Um, you can just assign those guys from your straight from your creative player list right into the roster. It doesn't seem to be quite as much of a problem there. Um, it's only these, these modern teams that really have the issue, and that's how you get around it. <laughs>